Hello everybody, it's Kylara and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video um, of my completed pages for the month of March. Um, I had a bit of a slump and lots going on this month. Um, for those of you who watched my last video, um, I ended the stream quite abruptly um, when I got a phone call that my son had been hit by a car earlier that day and he ended up having a broken wrist and broken ribs. So, um, supposedly he was to go to the uh, a surgeon this week to see if he needed surgery, but I haven't heard from him as, you know, happens with very young children when they get on their own for the first time. So, um, I'm not sure any updates further than that. Um, I will mention that on Wednesday morning at 5 a.m. I lost my stepdad. Um, we knew it was coming, um, but it's still very, very difficult to go through. So I, that's why I have not been making videos and I haven't been around very much. Now, going through and preparing for this video I've realized how many pages I've colored, which is quite astonishing because I actually was in quite a slump this month. And like I said, there's been lots going on. So I'm surprised at how many pictures I actually did get done this month. So um, let's get right to it, shall we? Now I can't remember if I've showed these or not before. But here is um, a seahorse color by number that I did. I, it, uh, I did this with super tip, Crayola super tips. And it was a lot of fun. The second one I've done is this lovely octopus. And I also embellished the edges with glittery washi tape. And this one was done with Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. So that is book one. And I have a diary that I put, you know, all the information in for every page that I do mostly. I sometimes get so wrapped up in my page that I, you know, start writing the, the colors and, and mediums that I'm using and then I get into it and I forget to continue doing that. So um, I did go through prior to this video and grab the information that I could so that it would all be in one place and I could keep it in order. So as you can see I've got you know my mediums already here for, for me to let you guys know what I used in each picture. So I did this, oh, I'm really sorry about that. I did this picture for March Mushroom Madness, Madness the color long that I ran this month. And um, if you are a participant in my color long, um, I have a surgery on Monday, the 1st, April 1st. So I will be drawing the names um, either the day after or, you know, a couple days after. Um, I haven't forgotten. It's just that I have surgery first thing in the morning on sun on Monday. And so I'm not sure what type of shape I'll be in. Anyway, so I colored this beautiful um, picture and I used... Um, Prismas and a uniball signal, a white uniball signal, and that's it on these pages. I just love mushrooms, and um, I followed a tutorial to do these by um, Jamie. F Jam mm, I'm gonna butcher the name. If I remember, I'll put it in the description box below. But anyway, 
All of the mushrooms on the outside are real mushrooms and have been colored um, in the, its likeness. Obviously, we don't have pink and turquoise mushrooms in the wild, so this was a little wild card, so to speak. And that made the page a little fun. So next up, and these are in no particular order. I don't have them in the order that I get them. Next up I have this, which is the title page for Fairy Miracles. And in this spread, I used Pablo's, the Pentel Dual Hybrid Metallic Gel Pens, glossy accents on the window and the little spots on the mushroom. And there is a um, Jelly Roll Glaze Pen on the Ladybug or Ladybird as they are called. And there's a little tiny heart in this jar where my finger is. And it is all glossy as well and 3D. I had a lot of fun with this one. Next we have Autumn Magic by um, Edwina McNamee. And I completed this picture. And I did this one with Pablo's Polychromos, the Pentel Dual Hybrid Metallic Gel Pens, and Stickles for the little um, snowflakes or water droplets or whatever they may be. I had so much fun with this one. I really did. And this is the first character or animal that I have ever done. So I was really quite pleased with how this turned out. It could be better, but for me, I'm very, very happy. Now you're going to see a pattern through every single picture almost that I did this month. They all have the dual hybrid metallic gel pens. I just love them and they're so glittery and fun and they just add so much depth and character to your pages. So as you'll see and notice, I, I've used them almost on every single image, if not all of them. Next up we have Lacey Sunshine Presents the Holidays, the Greatest Hits Coloring Book and this is by Heather Valentin. And I did this little cutie here. I had so much fun with this. And she's so sweet that how can you not fall in love with her? So I used Ink Tents, Prismas, Stickles. I used their mor the Morning Dew Stickles. So um, they are a clear glaze and it's also 3D. So I'm not sure if you can see the glaze on his eyeballs. Oh, I think I saw a glitter there. Yeah. And right along the rim of her glasses is some silver dual metallic gel pens. So this was done um, with, uh, there's also a white uniball signal for the highlights on the hearts. I I thought about doing a background for this, but I didn't want to lose her and I'm not really good at backgrounds. So I may come back later at a later time and put a background on this image. Next up we have the lovely Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. And I just did a small picture this month and it is the Heron. And I used um, Prismacolor Premieres and a gold gel pen for the key. I really enjoy seeing small little illustrations like this. If you don't have tons of time but you still want to color each day, this is perfect. So you just grab a little drawing and color it up and it doesn't take very long at all. It's also nice to do little things like that so you get that feeling of accomplishment. Even though it's not a full page, you, your, your confidence does increase the more you put, you know, the more completions you get. And 
here we have a PDF page from Springtime by Deborah Muller. This is one of her new books. And for this one, I used um, Crayola Super Tips. I did no shading. Um, well, maybe I did do some shading. I'm not real sure um, what I used for some of the shading. So I would imagine that they were pol um, polychromos. I had fun with her though. Next up, I have this mandala, and this is from The World's Most Beautiful Mandalas by Coloring Book Cafe. Um, I used fine liners and gel pens, stickles, and new glow morning dew drops. I love how this turned out. I absolutely love it. I'm not big on mandalas. So I was quite shocked that I chose to do that image. Next up we have Dreamlings 3 by Edwina McNamee. And in it I did this dragonfly. And I loved using a very limited palette for this one. I tend to find that if I limit my palettes I enjoy the outcome of my pages better than going all willy-nilly and not knowing where things are going and, and what's matching or should be matching, etc, etc. So for this picture here, I used all three sets of the Black Widow um, pencil crayons. I used the dual metallic gel pens and glossy accents on the eyes. You might be able to see just a little bit of the glitter on the blue dots or the glossy eyes. Next up we have probably one of my favorites for this month and that's from Nice Little Dragons. This is the first first book and this is by Tanya Bogema Salova and she can also um, she also goes by Tatiana Bogema Slova, if I'm not correct. Please let me know down below. So this is the picture that I did and I am so proud of this picture. Um, I worked real hard on him and uh, I just love the translucent wings that I got. So for this picture I used Pablo's the dual metallic gel pens around um, the translucent pieces of the wing. I used Prisma's uh, black acrylic paint for the background and the Jelly Roll Glaze Yellow for the stars. I love this. I just love how it turned out. Next we have Storybook Princesses, Divas, Villainesses, and Heroes by Deborah Muller. And I did this beautiful fairy godmother. Again, um, I used silver um, to outline the boning of the wings and it also on some of her jewelry. So for her, I used Black Widows, both three sets, Pablo's Ink Tents, Dual Metallic Gel Pens, Glitter Gel Pens, White Uniball Signal, Polychromos, Koinor Polycolors, Copics, Stickles, Pearlescent Watercolor on, oh, sorry, let's nix all that. Everything that I just said actually goes to this picture. So I'm very sorry about that. So it is the fairy tale princesses and storybook darlings. I don't know how that got out of order, but I will reiterate what was used on this page. So we have the three Black Widow sets. 
the Pablos, the Ink Tents, Dual Metallic Gel Pens, Glitter Gel Pens, White Uniball Signo, Polychromos, Kohenor Polycolors, Copics, Stickles, and Pearlescent Watercolor on the Clouds up here. There's lots of glitter and glam on this page, so let me just move it around. You might be able to see some of the goodness there on her dress. And her outfit. I love how her hair turned out. I used a combination from Teresa Ivanhoe's uh, Prismacolor um, hair combinations to get this. And really, I really love how it turned out. Because I'm not very good with skin and hair just yet. So let's find this one in my little book, shall we? Since it was not in the right spot so we have um, I believe some alcohol markers yes some stickles some dual metallic hybrid and that appears to be everything. I love how her wings turned out. And there's a jelly roll glaze on this star at the top of her wand. She was fun to do. Next we have Whimsical Wonders by Julia Spiri. And I just did the nameplate page. And for this, I used Pablo's Polychromos Dual Metallic Gel Pens, um, just for some small details. I also used Stickles, a white Uniball Signal, and a brown Super Tip for her hair. So again, lots of glittery goodness on these pages. We're getting there, we're getting there. Two more books. So we have Christmas Magic. In Christmas Magic, I um, am not sure what pencils I used for this one, but I did use the pearlescent watercolors to create a glass that you could see through so it would be translucent. And the little girl has Copic skin and dual metallic gel pens accents for her earrings, her bell, and the top of the ornament. This one calls out for a background too, but I, I'm still thinking I'm exactly what I would like to do with that. And last but not least, the one I finished yesterday is in Magical Dawn. And this is the glitziest and, and sparkliest page that I have ever done. I had so much fun with this, honest to God. I followed a tutorial by Zucchini Kitty, who and her her given name is Karen. She's got such a soothing voice that you relax and you kind of zen zen out as you listen to her and you and you color beside her. So in this, I have Prismacolor Premieres, Stickles, Dual Metallic Gel Pens for um, the little teardrop. Um, deeds and a micron, a black micron that we went around um, and gave some black and there's some black pencil crayon as well um, but there's stickles here there are stickles around this here there is dual metallics around these more stickles around those and lots and lots of stickers for the beads of the necklace so um i had a lot of fun with this one and i believe i'm going to do a cloud background just a little bit differently than karen did hers um but the colors of this page are so me and i just had an absolute blast doing this one so with that being said, this is the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it looking at my completed pages. 
and uh, thanks for sticking around when you know I get sick or things are going on that I'm just not able to post on YouTube at that moment. I appreciate everybody's understanding and I'm so glad that you are here and enjoying this journey with me. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend and uh, I'll see you soon with some information about a challenge that myself and Lavelia will be hosting for the remainder of 2019. So look forward to that post and I'll see you later. Bye.